I see Emmy. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Addie. Hi, Lucian. Hi, Ben. Hi, Leon. Hi, Ava. Hi, Olmo. Hi, Asa. And wait, I see Mackenzie. It's the twins. <laughs> Hi, guys. All right. So, not real twins, right? Ben and Olmo. <laughs> BFFs forever. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's get started. Now, <clears throat> we have a lot to do today. The first thing we need to do is to choose our teacher helper. Who have I not heard from in a long time? <gasps> Ooh, let's see. I see hands screaming. Uh, I don't know who to pick. <gasps> Where's Ava? Ava and Mackenzie, can you choose somebody for me? I think you guys were kind of like the last couple. Who would you like? Addie. Addie, go for it, Miss Addie. Participate, beats back for a long time. I can me to include full name and zoom window. Stay safe, eyes on me. <laughs> and she means it too. Thank you, guys. All right. And what is today, Miss Addie? Today's Tuesday, March 7, 2023. Woohoo! Wonderful. A big March. Monkey clap shout out for Ruby, Viviana, Isaac, Frank, and me. Oop. <laughs> Happy birthday to everybody on this list. It's a big list. And now our weekly spotlight winners. Who do we have? Oh, hold on. Finish letting friends in. Okay. Who do we have? We have Ben and Almo for being awesome Zoom promise keepers. They know when to hit that mute, unmute button. They know how to participate. They know how to be respectful and kind. All the promise. Thank you, Ben and Olmo. On Thursday, you guys get to choose a game. So talk about it, okay? Feyruza for amazingly detailed responses and Carter, working hard. Awesome. Okay, now, what are we doing today? We have two things to do today. The first thing we're going to do, you see it right here, our learning target is it's our presentation day. If you made a magnet, uh, um, what do they call that? The, the, the bottle, the magnet bottle, then you get to, uh, to show it off, okay? And you get to discuss what the force of magnets, how they work in your bottle. Okay, got it. That's our first thing we're going to do. Woo. I better get this right. And then the second part of it, after we're finished um, showing, giving our presentations, then we're going to move into our Nearpod and we're going to learn about gravity. Gravity. We're going to learn about gravity. Okay. And understand how, well, we've been talking about force, right? So we need to understand how and what the force of gravity is and how it impacts objects on the earth. All right, guys, if you just joined us, check the chat in the Zoom for our Nearpod. What are we going to do? We're, we remember that our science experiment was talking about magnets the last couple of weeks. Our first week, uh, we talked about it. Our second week, I think we, I demonstrated how to pull out metal out of your cereal. Yeah. And then the third week, it's this last week. We will present our magnet investigations during our live lesson today. And every student who has their sensory bottle, that's what it's called, our magnet sensory bottle, will receive a small mail prize from me soon. Okay, I actually have on my list to do today is to send out some, some prizes to a few other friends. So who wants to be included? Now, how are we going to do this? The first thing we're going to do is show off a friend who already sent it to me. Look, it's Lucian. Lucian did his magnet sensory bottle. He did an amazing job presenting. Guys, listen. This boy is full of stuff with all these paper clips and circle metal stuff and Yago's. And but uh, but these things some like work like and go the eyes because the group the the I got up here is more is yes, density of these because these are have a lot of density but they are 
and the Google Eyes have yesterday's thing too. But and but when I bring it, when I bring them the, all the metal stuff up, look, you can see if it's the full the magnet attracted the metal. Look, oh, you're doing this, such a good job. On this magnet, it's going full. The because it has a kind of like an invisible wave we can't see. It's going That's through right. This body that to get force is invisible. To to Look at it, to and it's man. pulling. He said, "Fantastic so, job, Lucian! I am so impressed, exciting. guys! Give him a thumbs up. He did amazing. Awesome! He gets two prizes for me now." One for the reading challenge and one for that. Awesome. So now, before we need, wait, don't Nearpod yet. Wait, not yet, not yet. <gasps> Is there anybody here who also has a sensory magnet bottle? Hold it up. <gasps> Benito. Benito, unmute. Guys, if you go to your view button at the very top of your screen and click view and click on the word speaker, you'll see him in big a big window. Okay, if you want to see them nice and big. All right, Ben, tell us about your sensory magnet bottle and how it works. Okay, but I'm putting the view thing. Okay. There's Lucian. He's showing us what he did. Lucian, you did such a good job. Oh, there's Asa's. Oh, Almo did one. Anybody else do one? Yeah, and how this work is like this, like the googly eyes, cotton balls, and other stuff. And, and some are floating on the top. Mm -hmm. So, can you, so you see that it's not actually moving on these. And these are magnets. Paper clip, other things. The, the same thing the cotton ball will not attract. Oh, that is awesome. He's got a lot of uh he's got a lot of items or objects in there, and only some of them are metal, right? And it doesn't attract or pull anything that's not metal. That is awesome, Ben. Did you enjoy doing the experiment? Yeah, actually, my mom helped me a little bit. Yeah? Did Almo do one, too? Yep, he <gasps> did one. Let's go to Almo. Everybody give Mr. Benito a big wave. Do a wave. You want to do a big ocean wave? Give him an ocean wave. Woo! Nice work. Okay, let's go to Almo. Okay. So now I'm going to demonstrate my um the what's called again? Sensory magnet bottle. Sensory magnet bottle. There are some objects floating on the top top, and whenever I do, put the magnet on it, it doesn't move. They have wood beads, cotton, wood googly eyes. And all of that stuff that's not attract with the magnet mm -hmm. stay right in the same spot. Hmm. But if I go down here with all the magnet stuff is, I connect it and pull it right up. See it? Did you notice he used the word pull? Yeah, that's the force. If someone asks you what force does magnets do magnets have, you say a pulling force. It pulls us down, which we're going to talk about in our Nearpod and how gravity also has the same force. It pulls. Thank you. Can everybody give Almo some fireworks? Awesome job, Almo. You'll be getting a prize soon. Now to your home. Ooh, I think Asa had one. And let's go ahead, Asa. Let's, let's hear from Asa. Okay, here's my magnet. When you, the forces pull, and it pull, pulls the magnet up, side, down, and then you go down to get another paper clip. 
-hmm. and the magnet pulls it up. It can hold two or just one. And so, hold my mat, hack the net, ice ball, huddle, but can also hold it by itself. Like this. Wow, guys, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Do you think it'd be the same in soda or juice? How about oil? Do you think it would have the same effect with a different liquid? What do you think, Asa? Mm -hmm. It could be. It could be. It could be. Yeah. You're right. That's right. If, uh, if it's still able to attract the metal through the liquid, it should have the same effect, even if you use apple juice or soda. Although soda with the bubbles, what do you guys think? Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. You'd have to try it. <gasps> so many questions. All right, Asa, let's give him some rainbows. Woo! Big paint, big, big, big rainbows. Woo! Pot of gold at the end. There it is. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> you did great, Asa. Is there anybody else who has one to show off? No? Okay, let's see. Leon, do you have a bottle to show off? Uh, yeah. The sensory bottle with the magnets in the water? Uh, I... Um, everybody else has, um, mag magnets with water and cotton balls in it. Okay, give me a second. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to you at the end, Leon. Carter, do you have anything? Do you have a, a sensory bottle? Carter? Uh, no, I don't have a sensory bottle, but, um, but I do know how magnets work. It's two kinds of metals, and when if you put them together, they stick together. And it's like an invisible force that's in between them. And they're different types. Um, and you can have um, like a paper clip in it, or you can um, put a magnet on top of one of your fingers, and you can put one below it, and it'll hold because it's going wow. through your finger and it's touching the other metal. Wow, is that how they do like uh, MRI type x-rays? Magnetic resonance imagery, I think it's called. And they yeah. use magnets and, to see inside your body. Whoa. And check if there's any broken bones. Yeah, that's a specialized x-ray machine, isn't it? Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Carter, you did awesome. So let me see, uh, what should we give him? Should we give him some birds? Should we give him some, oh, let's, I know, I know. Let's give him some T-Rexes. Guys, show him your T-Rex. <laughs> and, and, oh, and, and it can also pick up stuff like underwater. Yep, like, that's um, what we were working on. That's yeah. right. All right, um, so the friends who did because, a bottle, um, thank you, Carter. The friends that did the bottle, with the uh, the mag the magnet sensory bottle as an experiment to show how magnets attract and pull metal objects. Metal objects will receive a little prize from email, and if you still want to do one, just send it to me via text. Okay. All right, Lucian, go for it. I mean, Lucian. I'm sorry, Leon. Leon, go for it. So here's this small water bottle that has white cotton balls and the magnet, well, it doesn't move because it's not magnetical, it's just cotton, which is also kind of impressive because, you know, it's actually a water full of cotton. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if you and put it, metal it, in there, what would happen? Uh, it would actually move. Yes, absolutely. All right, Leon, you're gonna get one. Coming for me too, a little prize in the mail. Guys, what should we give him? <gasps> Let's give him some gator chomps. Guys, gator give him a chomps. big gator chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, great job. I love it. Guys, we're going back to our near pod. I'll join you there. We're going to talk a little bit more, not about magnets, but about pulling force. So you should see my screen now, and I do have seven friends waiting. Thank you, Leon. That was awesome. Lucian, you did great. Ben and Almo, 
amazing. And Asa, fabulous job, guys. I'm so proud of you for doing that experiment. All right, what are we going to do today? We're going to talk about gravity. Gravity. Look at Asa in outer space. Look at him. I wonder if gravity has anything to do with outer space. <gasps> How much do you already know about gravity? Hey, I know a lot. I can explain the force of gravity and what it, what it does, the effects it has. <gasps> B, I need a little bit more practice. C, help. What's gravity? I need support and instruction. Ooh, some folks are saying they know everything about gravity already. Wow. <laughs> This is one of the standards you would need to know, and it does tie into what we've learned before about force and motion. It is another force, and it's a pulling force. It pulls you down to earth. Look around. Look at the friends on the Zoom chat. Do you see anybody floating? I hope not. It's pulling you down to the earth, just like the apple. It pulls it down. Right now, if you didn't have the force of gravity pulling you down, y'all would be floating around your living rooms and your rooms and bumping into the ceiling and it would be chaos. Yes, it would. So gravity surrounds the earth. And what force does it have? Show me pull. Show me pull. It, no, no push. Show me pull. It pulls you down. That's right. It's pulling you. I call it greedy gravity, okay? We'll talk about why in a moment. It pulls, it pulls. Gravity pulls the coffee down into the cup. Mmm, coffee, I love it. So when you're pouring, it doesn't just go up, it doesn't get pushed up into the ceiling, does it? Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? What if your mom's serving you spaghetti and she takes a whole lump of spaghetti on a spoon and then she comes in over to your plate and she turns the spoon around, but it goes and hits the ceiling. It gets pushed up? No, it gets pulled onto your plate. That's right. And you have to fight gravity every day. Show me your fighting fists. That's right. You are fighting against gravity all day long, which explains why you get tired quickly. It's a big force. It's invisible. Can't see it. Can't really feel it, but we'll test that out in a moment. Gravity keeps things like furniture and little second graders from floating in the air. <gasps> yeah, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to be floating around, do you? Nope. Okay, let's move on. Let's learn more about it. I love this one. This one says, complete the sentence using our new word. Blankety keeps pencils on the desk. <gasps> What keeps pencils from floating away? It pulls them down. If you can't type it or write it here, put it in our Zoom chat so I know that you know how pencils stay on the desk. If you don't spell it right, it's okay. We're going to learn how to spell the word. It's our new vocabulary word. What keeps pencils from floating around? Let's look and see. <gasps> What do we have? I have no responses because Nearpod's being stinky. It's okay. Unmute everybody and say the word in three, two, one. Gravity. 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 So you would write and oops, I have to, it's the beginning of a sentence. I better put my capital. Gravity. Gravity pulls things down to the ground. Awesome. Let's move on. That's our vocabulary word. You do need to know what it means and how to spell it. Okay, I like this one. Remember what I said before earlier? It said the that gravity keeps furniture for, and little second graders from doing what? Go ahead, Carter. What is it keep us from doing? Um, I made the... I made the magnetic uh, oh we're, we're, can we talk about that at the end because now we're right into gravity okay so stay okay. with me for the end next complete this sentence gravity oh you can write it in the chat I see chats 
Yes. Gravity keeps the kitchen table from doing what? Floating, <gasps> says Asa. Floating, says Almo. Yeah. Could you imagine trying to chase your furniture around the house? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice full sentence, Ben. Gravity keeps the kitchen table from floating away. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Ava McKenzie, gravity keeps the kitchen table from gravity. Wait, wait, what is the effect that would happen if we didn't have gravity? What would happen to that table? Yes, I like that. Gravity keeps it from floating away. I don't want to chase my furniture around. Can you imagine chasing your bed and pillows around? That would be crazy. Next, let's watch a very short video, I think, yep, about gravity. We're moving fast, guys. It's slow. It's so slow. If this doesn't work, we can get My good. I don't know. If I told you that you just won the lottery, what would you do? If you're like me, you'd jump up and down and scream. And after you were done freaking out and jumping in the air, you'd land on your feet, right? But why would you land back on the ground instead of just floating off into space? It's because of a little something we call gravity. Gravity, gravity is a force. True or false? Is gravity an invisible force? True or false? Ooh, you learned this in first grade. I know you did. I know you did because if you said A, yes, it is an invisible force. You got it right. Good work. Let's keep going. Gravity. gravity is what pulls everything toward the ground, including you. Without the force of gravity, there would be no life on Earth. Air, water, animals, everything would fly off into space. Yeah. There'd be no you, no me, yeah. no french fries, oh. nada. Think of gravity like the invisible superglue that holds our massive world together. You can't see it, but it's always there. An English scientist named Isaac Newton was the first person to seriously study gravity over 300 years ago. There's a famous story about him that you might have heard. Supposedly, Sir Isaac was hanging out underneath an apple tree thinking, probably partly napping, when an apple fell from the tree and conked him on the head. That's when Sir Isaac had an aha moment. Why did the apple fall down to the ground and not up or sideways? He realized that a special kind of force, which we now know as gravity, was acting on all of the objects on Earth pulling them toward it. Once the apple became too heavy for its stem to hold it anymore, the gravitational pull of Earth brought the apple down onto Newton's noggin. Newton also- Oh, okay, this is easy. Should be easy. What is What type of force is gravity? Gravity is a pushing force, pulling force, both pushing and pulling, or I have no idea. Oh. If gravity is pushing us, then we should be smushed up against the ceiling right now. I, I don't, I don't want to do that. So <laughs> it's not pushing us around. It's pulling us. Carter, thank you. Keep muted. All right, moving on. Newton also realized it doesn't matter how heavy an object is either, whether you're holding an apple or a bowling ball or a feather. If you let go of it, that sucker's going down. We're going to make a whole video about this later. Basically, he determined that what goes up must come down. Sir Isaac was a pretty smart dude. Okay, so you know that if you jump up, you'll eventually land back on the ground. Mm -hmm. And you know that an apple drop down will land on the ground too. But what if you throw something in front of you, or to the left, or the right? Oh, 
let's skip that one. That's just talking about who the um, Sir Isaac Newton was the one who. To see how gravity will act, pick up the gravity. tennis ball or any small round object and hold it in your hand. Let's toss it in the air and watch it fall to the ground. No surprise here. Okay, now pick it up and hold it over your head. Let go and watch it fall once more. Again, not a shocker. Now throw it to your left. Ball down. Pitch it to the right and watch it go down again. All right, what happens to the ball when it is thrown sideways? Does it A, fall down, B, fall up to the sky, C, just stay in midair, floating and hovering in midair, or D, I have no idea what happens to a ball when I throw it. If you said A, oh, it's okay, Ava McKenzie, it's all good. If you said A, you got it right, the ball falls down. Excellent. Okay, let's wrap it up. So now, <clears throat> testing your new knowledge, we have to talk about real world connections. On the next slide, we're going to, this is so cool. Wait till you see this. Explore gravity through a simulation. You will be able to visualize how gravity affects the sun. You know, gravity has a lot to do with the mass of an object. So the bigger the object, the more gravity it will have. So think about that for a moment. The moon has a very little gravity. The earth has enough gravity to hold us down. What about the sun? He's huge. What type of force would he have? He would have that pulling force of gravity. And how strong would it be? So gravity keeps the sun, the earth, and the moon close together. When the earth is too close to the sun, and we're going to test that, what does the sun's gravity do? <laughs> well, how does mass affect gravity in this activity? We just talked about that. The bigger the object, the more gravity it will have. So higher mass, more gravity. Okay, now this is so cool. This is simulation. And once, once it loads, oh, there it is the sun and there is earth. You can manipulate or move the earth closer to the sun and press play. What's going to happen? <laughs> what happened, Daddy? <laughs> and then you can press clear. And I think, let's see, can we restart it? Yeah. Oh, the little orange button. You can restart it. And way down here on the bottom right. Now, if you press play, you'll watch earth in orbit. It's in orbit because why? What, what's keeping it from floating away? What is keeping it from floating away? You know this answer. Who's got it? Who's got it? What does the sun have that keeps the earth from floating away? Asa? Grr. Uh -huh has a orbiting what is what force does it have we what's our whole lesson about gravity has a force of gravity that pulls it that earth doesn't float away if it floats away the earth will get colder and colder right but the thing is we're just at the right distance away thank you asa we are just close enough if we got any closer to the sun how would it change? So move Earth closer, press play, and watch what would happen as the sun pulls Earth toward it. <laughs> We'd be pulled right into the sun. And if, I'm going to come right over to the right and clear it. And then what would happen if I pulled it farther away? It would have less gravity, wouldn't it? We might run the risk of floating away. Oh, no. Bye, Earth. <gasps> Bye, guys. It was nice knowing you. You're now floating away <laughs> into outer space. So we have to stay at just the right distance away from the sun so we don't get pulled too close to it or float away. That sun is strong enough. The mass is big enough. It has just enough pull 
to keep the planets from floating away. All right, guys, you can play with this when you get your Nearpod link. You can play with this and investigate the force of gravity. Yep, understanding that the sun, the sun's mass is great enough. The earth isn't pulling the sun, is it? Yeah, good, good. Alma, the earth doesn't pull the sun. What does the earth pull? What is that white thing in the sky that the earth is pulling? Who knows it? Come on, come on, I need names. Addie, what is the name of the object in the sky? The moon. The moon, very nice. The earth is pulling the moon. That's right. We keep the moon in orbit around us by the effects the pulling effects of gravity. Okay, guys, running through, we're wrapping up at the end. We have about four or five minutes left. Let's test our knowledge. It's coming, it's thinking near pot is so slow and sleepy. So slow and sleepy. Oh, okay, in this one, I want you to choose a question. Any question is fine, right, Isaac? You can pick a question. Right, Leon, right, Ruby? So which question do you want to choose? The first one, the green one says, gravity keeps the sun, earth, and moon close together. Do you see gravity in this activity? Where? Where did you see gravity in the simulation? Yellow, when the earth is too close to the sun, what does the sun's gravity do? Or blue, how does mass, mass, affect gravity in this, I mean, gravity in this activity. Mass is the size and weight of an object. So how does size and weight or mass affect gravity? Ooh, let's see. What does the sun's gravity do? How does or mass work? How does affect mass gravity mass in this activity? Awesome, Asa, now answer it for me, okay? The Earth and the satellite dish was like moving, and if you hit the sun, or if you hit the moon to the sun, it might it might do something really weird. But okay, but the satellite dish goes all around Earth, and so it's the moon. I mean, the moon creates like some reason without without gravity, without gravity. Things, things will be floating around like everywhere. Excellent. Like everything. Wow, Leon, what a scientist you are. That's right. Almo, the bigger the object, the stronger the gravity. Like the sun, gravity helps the sun, earth, and the moon be together. You're right, Ben. Any other answers? Uh, anyone else? You can type in the chat too. Anybody has any more? In five, four. Oh, here comes mass will make things. Yes. That's true, mass is the size and weight of an object. And how does that impact gravity? Hmm. Ava McKenzie, gravity, very good. You're telling, I think you were answering, uh, which one were you answering? The green one? How did you see gravity in that picture or the simulation? Was it pulling objects? It pulls, it pulls objects. Gravity pulls objects to the floor because mm -hmm. it like it pulls stuff down to the ground with like. Yeah. And you know what's yeah. interesting? It's really not the floor. It is. I get you. Your answer is right. But think about it for a second. You're not being pulled to the floor. You're being pulled to Earth. If you weren't being pulled to Earth, what would happen to you? Bye. We would blow into space. <laughs> That's right. Not very pleasant, would it be? No, I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, <laughs> and we would get burned by the sun. Yeah, it's true. Oh, my goodness. I don't like that at all. And there's no air in space, and we need air. Gravity uh, helps us keep, keep us to the ground. If there wasn't any gravity, we would be floating up into space. That's right. And we're talking about the sun's right. gravity about helps it. us, You're not us in and the floor. earth be You're in orbit. Yep. Earth. Nice work, guys. You did awesome. Thank you, Asa. 
Thank you to everybody who contributed. Oh, this is just for fun. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> why did he fall? He slipped. But why didn't he fall up? Why didn't he just slip and float into space? You know the answer. <gasps> Unmute and say gravity in three, two, gravity. one. Gravity. 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 Notice five, four, three, two, one. Notice his um his crocs or slip his uh his flip flops, his slides, his slippers, whatever they are. And <laughs> They, fl they flew up in the air, but then they got pulled back down. This is why I call gravity greedy. Greedy, greedy. That's not a very nice thing, is it? It wants everything. It wants everything pulled to the surface. It doesn't want anything to go away. Gravity is greedy. It wants his slippers, his coffee. It wants him. It wants the ice. It wants his car. It wants the house. It wants the dog. <laughs> to stay on the ground, okay? So it pulls everything down. Look around your room right now. Type in the chat something that gravity is pulling down. You have 10 seconds to type in the Zoom chat. Don't unmute and tell me an object or item that gravity is pulling down right now. It's greedy. It doesn't want it to float away. My sister. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to see that. Who else? A water bottle. Very good. Me. Yeah, for sure. I see it. Ben and Alma. A ball. A chair. <gasps> Fabulous. What else? Isaac says a chair. Is, but yes, you don't want your chair floating around. You. Terrific. Yes, Ava. Yep. Me. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> your poppet. Yeah. Very good. Do you know that airplanes fight against gravity? So do rockets. How do rockets fight against gravity? Of course, Earth does not want the rocket to go into outer space. So how does it have to fight against it? Who knows it, Ben? The rocket boosters on the rocket ship. Yeah, it has to have more force than the gravity, doesn't it? Yeah, it has to it has to have more force than the pulling force of gravity in order to break gravity and get into outer space. Airplanes have the same thing. You know what else? Birds. Birds have to fight against gravity. Otherwise, they'd just be pulled down to earth and be like flopping around like penguins. <laughs> Yep. All right. Following today's fun lesson about gravity, how much do you now know about the force of gravity? A, now I know a lot more and can explain. I know the pulling force. I know the the that the more mass an object has, the more pulling force it has. I know that we need to fight against gravity. I know what effect it has on us and our objects around. B, I need more practice or C, Help, I still don't understand about gravity. Whoa, it was a great lesson, wasn't it? I mean, you can do a lot more experiments with gravity, guys. Yes, you can. Paper airplanes. Uh, you can try dropping two objects, very different objects, to see which one falls to the Earth first. Mm hmm but much like the magnets that are opposite poles, north to south, it, gravity also has a pulling effect. It pulls. Okay, we are all done. I don't even have my thank you for dancing or my thank you dancing slide. I was just too excited to do the gravity lesson with you. All right, before you leave, Everybody stand up. Let's feel the effects of, of gravity. Let's feel the force, the pulling force. Stand up, put your arms out like an airplane and don't move them at all. Do not move them and wait because after about two or three minutes, 
your arms are going to be tired. Oh, you put them down already, Emmy. Not too high, straight up, straight, straight, straight. And what you're feeling right now is your muscles fighting against the pull. Gravity wants your arms. Gravity wants your hands. Give me those arms. Give me those hands. They're feeling quite heavy right about now, aren't they? Your muscles are fighting against gravity, just like a bird or an airplane would. We use our muscles. We don't use rocket boosters or engines, right? But just like a bird, oh, it's starting to really hurt. Oh, no. Oh, my shoulder, I can feel it in my shoulders. All right, guys, who wants to talk about it before we say goodbye? What are you feeling? Carter? It feels like you have something like running through like your body that wants to pull it down. Oh, and can I also show you my um, this? Yes. Okay, but but wait, we have still we're still talking about gravity. Hold on, don't leave me though. Okay, Emmy, go for it. Gravity is really strong. But Say it again. I see this top. Watch what happens when I let go. It just falls to the ground. Greedy gravity wants it. He wants it pulled down to the ground. Good work. Nice. How did you? How did your arms feel? Higher. I, I, I couldn't even keep my arms still. Right? Yeah, because I, I, of, I, I have to just. I want you to think about that for a like second. Like holding onto a chair. Gravity is so strong, it keeps your houses and your cars on the ground. So think about how strong you have to be to fight gravity. I know, it's so strong, it can actually knock me over. It's like <laughs> I do, try away. doing push ups. Whoa. Push-ups are really hard, right? It's because of gravity. Who else would like to talk about it? Lucian. How'd your arms feel, Lucian? Tire. Yeah, I did. Did you fight against gravity? Yes. Yes, you did. Nice work, Lucian. Asa, go for it. I'm coming. My arms. Yeah. My arms feel tired, right? And there's some something that gravity can't pull down. What's that? The balloons that you buy at the store. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yeah. And they, that's true. the balloons have helium. Yeah, yeah, certain gases are not heavy enough. They don't they don't have any mass, so they can't pull it down. That's right. Good work, Asa. Ava and Mackenzie, the twin girls, go for it. So when I was putting my arms out like an airplane, um, I just like loosened them up and I didn't like flex them at all. And they just fell straight to the ground. <laughs> Did gravity pull them down? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Is that you guys? Sorry, her it's, mom's phone is connected to the computer, so it rings. Gotcha. Out. How did your arms feel, Miss McKenzie? Yeah, when I put them out, they would fall to the ground because gravity was pulling them. Nice. Does anybody have and any? It's, yeah. It's easier to not pull them. Gravity doesn't pull them down when they're resting on something because the gravity is that object down so then then gravity is also pulling our arms down but it's resting on something so we don't feel the gravity pulling it down so true so true excellent job thank you and carter uh, first of all carter i'm coming to you but let me ask you a quick question guys sometimes when i do these experiments i come up with more questions i get more curious so think about as you walk around today, think about if you have any questions about gravity and let me know, okay? Maybe in the next one we meet up, you can share your questions and wonderings about gravity, okay?